by the Associated Press. The Philippines' iconic passenger jeepney, once regarded as Manila's king of the road, is chugging toward change and uncertainty. A remnant of World War II, the gaudily decorated jeepneys evolved from the U.S. military jeeps that American forces left behind after the war. The vehicles were modified and reproduced by Filipinos, and for decades were their most popular land vehicle, becoming a daily showcase of Philippine culture on wheels. Long time coming, the traditional jeepney may soon make way for a modernized version packed with features like onboard cameras, speed limiters, air conditioning, and automatic fare collection system. Jansen Romero, Manila Bulletin Atop the jeepney's hood stands a horse emblem in chrome, with the vehicle's body wrapped in vibrant colors and all sorts of artwork, ads, and mundane slogans. Running on diesel engines, jeepneys, with their low fares, have been the choice transport of working-class Filipinos. But they have also had a major downside, the dark fumes coughed out by thousands of jeepneys have been blamed for Manila's notoriously polluted air. Now, a Philippine government modernization program aims for a major makeover of the jeepney and other modes of public transportation by improving their engines, safety and convenience. Aging jeepneys must go or be outfitted with cleaner engines, WI-5, and security cameras in an overhaul that poor Filipino drivers and owners say they can't afford. George San Mateo, who leads a group of drivers and owners called Pinagay Zang Samahan NGMG8 Super at Operator Nationwide, Piston, said the government program would displace more than 600,000 drivers and 250,000 owners and jack up fares. With new jeepneys costing between 1.2 million and 1.6 million pesos, $23,000 to $31,000, San Mateo complained that drivers have not been offered a concrete financial assistance scheme by the government. Drivers have protested, but they got a warning from President Duterte after staging a two-day strike last month. By January.1, if I see any jeep of yours which has not been registered, I'll drag them away in front of you the tough-talking president said earlier. It is given that every time there is change, there is resistance, said Aileen Lizada of the government's Land Transportation and Franchise Regulatory Board. The government, she said, will convince drivers and owners that the program will actually benefit them, the public and the environment. Ed Sarau, whose family Sarau Motors, Inc., is among the most popular jeepney manufacturers in the Philippines, said the company is awaiting the enforcement of the modernization program amid resistance. Right now people are still clamoring for the traditional jeepney, Sarau said, although he added that many prospective buyers have been asking when the modern jeepneys will roll on the road. I tell them that the government still has no go signal yet so it is still a wait and see situation for the manufacturers, Sarau said. Promoters have been hard at work. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau was invited to take a short ride on an e-jeep, which runs on electricity, this month on the sidelines of Association of Southeast Asian Nations, ASEAN, Summit.